Okay, so I see bread. I see rustic bread, bread, bread. But I also see cinnamon rolls and I see no cinnamon rolls. Did that like get eaten by our children? Where did the cinnamon rolls go? Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. We are surrounded by bread. We've got bread. This is keto bread. And no. Rachel and I are not against eating keto bread. No, we're not. We're against eating the keto breads that you're finding in the stores that are loaded with grains and wheat, and they're saying they're keto bread, and they're zero net carbs because it's garbage. Aw, I see a little fluck of something on you. Oh, okay. So this is from a company called California Country Gal. I wish and, they all could be <laughs> California. And we girls. actually found out about them from the folks at Just Made Keto. They yes. had actually sent us some of this stuff. And then the company reached out and said, can we send you some? Heck yes. We have never tried it. Mm -hmm. We are not affiliated with them. We don't make any money off of this. But they said, can you try it? So we got a few different. They actually sell a bunch of different things. And I'm going to leave a link for their website down below. But they have organic breads. They have cinnamon breads. They have vegan burger buns. They have half a loaves. They have baguettes. I mean, they have all kinds of things. And you can get it pre-made uh -huh. or you can get it in a package. Well, and that's the thing. They We had a package that came with the Just Made Keto. But we never got to try it. But we never got to try it. But when they reached out to us and said, hey, would you give it a try? We took a look at the the back of the package and we're like, yeah, yeah. they've so got good stuff in them. Where do we want to start? So we've got bread. This is what's called a what half a loaf. Well, this is a half a loaf of clean keto bread. Okay. And then I took one piece. I've had that in the refrigerator. Did so, you, did you and then I toasted it up? one up and I have a little bit of chef chamois butter, but it was in the fridge. So I had okay. it's kind of a little melty. Is this but safe? The, it's completely safe. Okay. Okay. So you want to try hot or cold first? Let's. I want to try hot. You want to try hot? Like why not? So, toast wise, it's pretty good. Let me like, see if it. It feels it, like toast. It feels like toast. It feels, it's got a nice crust on the outside. If you like the crust. It's rustic. It's a rustic toast. Yes. I want some I'm only going to eat a little piece. Artichoke dip. You have to do a piece without any butter on it first. Okay. Because we have to go for the whole flavor. Dink it. Dink. That's like bread. It's very buttery, right? There's nothing that, on this. Seriously, it's bread. That is bread. That is delicious. I like the crust. I like the crust. I never understood cutting the crust off. No. I always wanted the crust. Okay, butter. Hit me with butter. Ready? You're, you're going ahead of me. Wow. I will be buttering this guy too. Butter makes everything better. Mm -hmm. Right? That is good. Wow. As a toast, that is good. Good really texture. Good. Like, just flat out reminds me of bread. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's take a piece out of the fridge. I'm still working at this one. So, it's cold. Not, it, you can see, it's bread. It's a little cold. Mm -hmm. I do like the texture. I'm just gonna do a piece of this. But this is how you would be doing it if you were like gonna make a sandwich, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so let me taste it, cause, but I wanna show you something. Bread. That's, a, that's bread. The thing is, I'm gonna ball this up. It needs to stay balled. And it stays bald. That's bread. 
This is bread. It's not a rubber ball. It is not. Yeah. It's not that thing Don't that we had. Don't waste that. I won't waste it. But like, right? That was my most alarming thing as some of the other over-the-counter breads. Right. Wannabes that we've tasted. Okay. Turn it into a ball. It springs right back. Yeah. So that is delicious. So this is the half loaf queen, uh, clean keto sandwich bread. But like I said, they also have rustic breads. They have a, this is the sandwich bread, which they sell on their website. They also have a burger bun. So they have a few different things that they sell. Now this is supposed to be the sandwich bread, but I gotta say, it all tastes pretty rustic. Yeah. Yeah, like the thicker artisanal bread. Well, we bread. don't have the rustic bread, so I can't tell you what that tastes like. But I'm telling you, this this would be what I would think is if you bought rustic bread in the store. I think that, so we have, they sent us the, the, the uh, mix of it, but I did not make this. So this has probably got like a crispier crust on the outside, kind of like a loaf of bread, like a, like a French bread kind of thing. I That's do what I'm like thinking. that you put your baking effort into making the cinnamon rolls though. So we got cinnamon rolls. Now, okay, so this is how it came. I mean, that smells amazing. Okay, so the way you make this is you take a cup of water, a cup of egg whites, which I use just the liquid ones you buy in a carton. Okay. Okay, I use the whatever, Eggland's best, I get them at Costco or BJ's or whatever. Um, or you can just separate your own egg whites. I was going to say. I don't want to waste the yolks. I wonder how many so it would take. It's good to just, just buy the liquid egg whites. It's better. Okay. Two tablespoons of organic apple cider vinegar. Making this was very simple. I literally, we got home from our thing and... I made it very quickly. So what you're gonna do is you put all of that liquid in a bowl, then you pour this in there, you mix it up, you let it sit for a minute, yeah. then you knead it for 90 seconds, roll it out flat, and then you're gonna put butter, a half a cup of butter, and then some cinnamon, and then whatever sweetener you want. I used allulose, and here's the thing, is you could make it as sweet and cinnamony or not, whatever if, you want. If you're someone who's super so sensitive you could, to it. You could Put a lot, you can put a little bit, whatever you want, and then you're gonna bake it for 20 minutes. So this container is supposed to make 13. I got more than 13. So when I get the serving size, big. it's gonna be based on how much you do it. Yeah. So let's do this. So you can see this one's got a lot of cinnamon. Yeah. So let's start off with this. But Just, you're deciding how much you put into it. Yeah, and I didn't put a lot. Does because, the base have cinnamon in it? Um, well, we're not supposed to be talking about ingredients. Well, yet. I'm just interested. No, no, no cinnamon in no, it. No, it's just like the bread base. So you're adding your cinnamon. I think about a Christopher. Good, a good cinnamon roll, all the cinnamons like in the inside, not in the mix. But you so could use ready? it without. So just cinnamon. take a little bite. Okay. Wow. Wow. Let's kick it up a notch. That is nice and thick. Remember, that is a remember hearty. Remember Emerald Lagasse. Bam! Bam! Let's kick it up a notch. Oh yes, with just made. We got some just keto made keto vanilla frosting. bean frosting. You can make your own cream cheese frosting, ma'am. But we're gonna put just a little bit of this on there. This been in the refrigerator, so the the, the thing may be a little. Boop. Wow. So that Boom. is a cinnamon roll. There you go. Boom. You ready? Yes. These are my dinner. Right? These are delicious. Delicious. I love. Wow. I, that, I like the fact amazing. that I get to control the sweetener. I love the sweetener. And I control the cinnamon. Because exactly. there is carbs in cinnamon. And if you follow total carbs, there is carbs in your total carbs in your sweetener. I used allulose because I like that granular thing, but it's not a cooling effect. Man, I love that. But I like the that. fact that you get to control that. So it's kind of like keto chow, right? You control the fat you control the sweetness of this. And, and you can put very little sweetener in there and just make a little frosting and make that your sweetness, and right? The, and the baker in you wants to still make some homemade things like this during the holidays, Well, here's especially. what I was gonna say. I, as I made this, because you were in the other room, yeah. and I made this, and as I when I first saw it, I'm like, oh man, I gotta make this. Cause you've got to, you roll it out flat, you spread your butter on. Think about watching like how they make cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. Then you sprinkle your cinnamon, you sprinkle your your uh, sweetener, then you're gonna roll it and slice it into rolls. And I started thinking this would be a fun thing to do with the kids or the grandkids. Okay, so let's do the five things. Okay, so five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients. 
Does the keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? We're going to get through these quick because we have two different products today. Right. Well, let me so you have get that. the bread. So number one on the ingredients for the bread. Right. So for the bread, the ingredients are filtered water, organic coconut flour, which I'm surprised, organic cage-free egg whites, organic psyllium, organic apple cider vinegar, organic maca, organic yacon, yeast, baking soda, and sea salt. But I don't taste the coconut no, flour. That is really good ingredients. Now they nailed it. Just to get into the rustic bread, I was gonna see what is the difference here. The ingredients in here is almond flour, coconut flour, psyllium husk powder, dehydrated sweet potato, sea salt, baking soda. So there are a, there is a difference between the sandwich bread and the rustic bread. Man, but I don't, what about this? Okay, so here, here we go. Now this is just the powder. Okay. Added to the powder was allulose for to when you make them. Yeah. Allulose, butter, and cinnamon. And again, it's gonna be on how much you add. But this pouch has Almond flour, coconut flour, organic psyllium powder, dehydrated sweet potato, sea salt, baking soda. It contains almonds and coconut. And then, um, like I said, you can add what they recommend a half a cup of butter, a third of a cup of cinnamon, and a third of a cup of whatever sweetener you want. This is blowing me away because I do not taste almond flour or coconut flour. Yeah, so. Do you? No. Nope. Number two. Does a keto based on the nutrition label start there? Okay, so this is a half loaf. This is exactly how big it. It's not that long thing. Right. All right. So a half loaf, one slice per serving, nine servings in a container, one point five grams of fat, three grams of protein, ten total carbs, seven dietary fiber. So you're looking at three net carbs and per sixty serving. calories per slice. Yeah, sixty calories. So, okay. Um. We're not even gonna bother with the rustic bread. Let's just get into these. Okay. So again, they say 13, 13 servings. We've already eaten one, right? right? So just to give you an idea, cause it's gonna be on how how much you roll it out and, and that kind up. of thing. But look how nice so it baits. I've got two, four, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. So I got 15 out of it. Yeah. So it's whatever you're going to actually roll it. You could get, 18 servings, you could get 10 servings. Right. Based on 13, it's 110 calories a piece, seven grams of fat, three grams of protein, eight total carbohydrates, four grams of dietary fiber. So wow. again, not counting your allulose and your cinnamon, your four net carbs a piece, if you have, they would be bigger because we have 15 instead of 13. And then you're just adding in like your fat and stuff, but not bad for a delicious dessert no. with really good ingredients. And like, I'm just, I'm, I'm still blown away because I'm telling you, well, we're going to number three. Number three, how does it taste? How does it taste? I, I want another one I right now. I do not taste the coconut or the almond. There's not that grittiness that They're sometimes really you can get with almond. Now these are not doughy like if you think about the cinnamon roll, the Cinnabon. They're not doughy, but that's also because I didn't overdo the butter and the cinnamon. You could make it that way. You could undercook it a little bit if right? you want. I don't know how much you can undercook it because you are dealing with coconut flour, but you could, I mean, it's got a nice texture. It's got a good, it's, like a store-bought cinnamon roll texture. Well, I think it's got way better than just store-bought. I feel like this is, you're going to a place that specializes in desserts. Yep. I mean, it is that good. It's got a nice bite to it. And one of them, even this size, is super hearty. What I'm talking about with store-bought, though, think about, like, you remember you used to buy, like, the Pillsbury roll thing? Oh, yeah. And you just snap it open and cut it up. That's the texture you're getting here. It's not that gooiness that you get like with a Cinnabon. No. But again, they're under baking it and they're loading it with sugar and stuff. Yeah. This is really good. This is so good. Number four, how much do they cost? Okay. Okay. So here we go. This I've got their website. Cheap. So there's a lot of different things up here. So we're going to just get into what we have. So the cinnamon roll, a two pack of these. Right. Is $18.99. So for two packs. So nine bucks a piece. A that is not bad. Not nine fifty a piece. That is not bad at all. The sandwich bread, if you buy it like this. Okay. A two pack of them. So I'm assuming that that's a half a loaf. So right. So one of these makes two of those. Oh, all right. Okay. And that would be $18.99. So nine fifty a piece for two of these. 
Now, if you want that already made. Straight to your door. Yes. A four pack of the organic half loaf. So you would get four of those mm -hmm. is $43.96. So that's about $11 for that. For a half loaf. For a half a loaf. Man, I if you can I get it like it this, this I would totally get it like this. I, I don't think it, I mean, okay, so you like to cook. Right. On a baker level, how difficult is it to like mix all this stuff together? It was very simple to mix together. I was trying to pull up here on the website, but I don't see like how you actually make the sandwich bread. You didn't feel um, like But it does say, so you're just gonna add water. It says no bread machine necessary. Okay. You're gonna add water, apple cider vinegar, and eggs or a substitute. They even have a vegan option, like where you can make it vegan. Okay. Um, and it slices beautifully. So you're literally gonna just mix all that stuff, knead it, let it sit, I'm sure. And then that's it. But if you look at this rustic bread, it's water, egg whites, apple cider vinegar. You're going to empty the container, th this, into your liquids. Let it rest for a minute. Knead it for 90 seconds just like this. Shape it into a loaf or a round loaf. Divide it into baguettes. Make it into round loaves however you want. Put it on a center rack, 42 minutes for baguettes, one hour and five minutes for a single large round loaf. So super easy. If you could... Mix everything with your hands. You don't need a machine. You don't even need your blender. Right. You don't need a kitchen aid. It's literally mix it with a wooden spoon, knead it with your hands, you're done. Well, that's my question. If you don't think that you need a pastry degree in order to do this, right. then it's like, okay. Because yeah. I mean, you you like to cook and you cook often. And this was fun for the kids because you're rolling it up and sprinkling the sugar. But, so, but not challenging. Not challenging. Okay. Number five, would we recommend this? Yes. I think so. I, yes. I think this is really good. This is gonna be fun with the holidays. Again, we don't make any money off of them. No. I don't even have a coupon code. I'll ask them for one, and if they give us one, I will put it down in the description. Um, but we're not affiliates. They just, just sent it to us. I think it's delicious. If you, now this is held up in the refrigerator good. It didn't turn it's, wonky. No, we had it for two days, and it's been in the refrigerator Feels fine. Good. But you do have to refrigerate it, because again, no. Like preservatives, no garbage in it. No. But I would say, I would do the bread mix. I would buy it this way. I wouldn't buy it that way. Then you're gonna it, get a lot more. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot more, and this way you can eat it when you want it. Maybe and you don't you have to worry about shipping. Maybe you don't want it as soon as it comes to your door. Maybe you want to make it for the holidays yeah. because you want to make some turkey sandwiches or something after after Thanksgiving. So. And again, you think about like, hey, you know, in these times, sometimes shipping takes a little bit longer. Yeah. You don't want to get it. It shows up moldy, that kind of thing. But yeah. you're figuring. That's eleven dollars. This is eleven dollars, or actually not even like nine fifty. And this should give you two of those. I mean, I cannot believe how awesome this these is. These are really good. Yeah. Well, I think we're done here. So that's going to be our video for today. Now, if you like seeing review videos like this, make sure you check out our playlist of all of our different product reviews, which you're going to find right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we bake something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.